Howdy who and welcome to Nev's Gaming! You know what day it is? It's Villager Moving Day. Alright. Straight into it. Oh no. I've realised. I'm gonna move the villagers, but I've got nowhere to put in. Right, first we build up the villager breeder, then we move the villagers. And the villager breeder is complete with this fence post randomly with a torch on it. No, wait. We've got underneath to look at, but this is just the beginning. So let's have a cheeky look down. I've installed a feeder here. Oh, this fence post is here so I don't fall down randomly and join the villagers when I'm trying to feed them. As you can see, I've already got a test bread down there to make sure it works. Extra trap door there to ensure that I definitely don't fall in. Moving on down, the main breeding area where the little babies will pop out. They'll flow down here once they decide to jump off. Down, down, down into the pit there. If we follow it down, where are we? Come on, down we go. They'll fall into this madness. I call this the adult child sorter. So the child will fall down there, but the adult, when it grows up, will float to the top, follow this water stream down, and fall into the next layer. If we go down here, where are we? There we go. They'll fall into this and because of the water flow they'll get pushed into this corner here where I have installed a rail cart, uh, well a rail line already. Let's go in, what we'll do is we'll add some chests here, we'll follow rail carts and things like that to top it all off. Woo! Alright, because I'm such a genius all I need to do now is move in the villagers. I've done it. I've moved the villagers. A few more iron golems may have spawned in the process of me moving these villagers, but if we go take a look now, you'll see there's nothing in here, just these last two. Da da da, let's move in here. We finally finished all our. Where are they? There they are. Look at all the farmers ready to go to trade all the crops that we will be producing shortly. We still got our fletches there, which I still need to use. And then we've still got these uh, librarians, which we will again use at a later date. Ooh, ooh, it's getting dark. Look at the little kid in. Where'd he go? Ah. Anyway, we need to clear this area out now of all the beds and move all the beds to a different location because we have no more use for these two in here. They've been the best from the beginning, but they are no longer needed in this area. And we need to get rid of this villager spot. So, uh, I've got a bucket of lava. I think you know what's coming next. Yep, that happened, right, if we, uh, oh, oh, oh no, I've set the place on fire, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, I've set the place on fire, I've set the place on fire, now I need a bucket of water, never mind a bucket of lava, I need a bucket of water, right, uh, oh, no, it's going everywhere, right, uh, lava in there, panic, I've set the place on fire, this will, uh, teach me a lesson for killing the villagers. Ah, no. right. There we go. No. There we go. No. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Save the place. Save all the beds. I can't go this way. Ah! Very quickly, I can hear it burning. I can physically hear it. Where is it? <gasps> ah! Me roof! Me roof! I've set the place on fire! No! No, 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 Oh no. Yeah, I burnt my roof. 
Ah, not good. Not good at all. Right, we're gonna have to repair this roof and strip away this empty area. The roof is now fixed, as we can see in front of us. There we have it. We fixed that roof there. We've then moved our... Down we go. Ouch. We then cleared out the space on the inside. I need to fix this door, though. Absolutely shocking. No, I haven't cleared this space on the inside. I've semi-cleared the space on the inside. Ready for our... Ready for our... Can you guess what's going in here? I've just placed some dirt. Can you guess what's going in here? It's not dirt. Definitely not dirt. It is... Oh, a nether portal. Yes, this is going to be a nether portal shrine, so we need to get that moved in here. <sighs> ASAP. And the portal has been moved into here now. <gasps> and yes, I've got a gold crown on my head because this is a mod from Vanilla Tweaks and it absolutely locked one to a stick on me. I think so, and I hope you do too. Because I'm keeping it. Because I'm king, lord, mayor of this land before you but anyway i bet you're excited to see inside so let's go take a peek at what we've done shall we <gasps> oh it's all red look at that look at that redness nothing here yet i haven't quite decided what i'm gonna put here uh maybe i'll put some armor stands here i think that's what my plan will be but i love this ah, i've got the hanging vines from here uh creeping hanging one of them but yeah, leading up to the end portal straight ahead of us. <gasps> and look, you're thinking, you've got upstairs space. Well, yeah, that's what this secret area behind the portal is for. I'm going to use it for storage for all my nether items behind here. And we've got the usual spots going up all the way up to the top there. Where we can keep a bed or two. For that, is my nether portal area done. Now let's go see if our villager breeder actually works. In the place across the bridge. What? What? Hey, what? What? It works! It works! The villager breeder works! And I haven't even. Ah, oh, I gave him some bread earlier. Yes! It actually works! Fantastic! I do need to sort out the uh, food distribution bit again. Again, though, get that trap door in place, so I think I'll do that now. Down the bottom we go. Whoop. No, I can't believe it. It actually works. Just need you guys to grow up now to see if you actually fall down into this area, and then we can start transport them into... Oh my god, that's so close. Into our farm area, for them to plant our lovely crops. It works! It actually works! Where are we? Oh, I've gone too far. Oh, there we go. Ah, no. Jump, no, ah, what's going on? There we go. Actually works! The villagers are there now. Fantastic, that is exactly what we wanted to see. Wow, I wonder if we should start moving them into their new farming pens. Hmm, that is the question. So I decided to move the villagers in and they are now in their farming homes with a Fletcher in between there. Maybe I should put some glass there so I can see if the Fletcher stays in. But they are in fact producing what we need now to feed our animals. What we've got in here, we've got carrots in this one. We've got some potatoes which I had to visit another village in order to get. And in this one which is raised, you can probably guess, it's wheat which we are producing. Not at a fast rate, but if we need any more, we can always go to our home. Well, yeah, what, uh, what would you call that area? Uh, Nevsland. Let's call it Nevsland. We can always go to there. What I have noticed as well, by the way, I don't know if, if anybody wants to help me out here, is if we go around here, I don't appear to have anything growing. But I have lava in the top there, above what is needed to. Now I've AFK'd here and done everything that I need to, but nothing seems to be growing from there. Am I doing something wrong here? I don't know, but if someone could help me out and comment down below, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I also decided to 
do a bit of caving, and this is how it went. Oh, hey, there's some gold there, I'll take that. Oh, Mr. Zombie there. A couple of zombies that have spawned in. They're probably going to drop down on me. Yeah. Try to take me from behind, did you? Come on, then. You knew I was going to go for that gold. I didn't fall for your trap, though, did I? Hey, 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 hey. This is it. This is it. And this is where it's going to get. A slightly bit. This is one of them. Because if we come up here. Look at all that. And I can already hear things going haywire. Now. My eyes have just widened up here. Because. Uh, <laughs> it's about to get. A wee bit serious. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, 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 there's a spawner. There's a, sp oh, oh, there's a spawner right across there. I didn't see that before. I don't know if you can see it on, on the stream, on stream. Um, but there's a spawner. Oh my God, I've just found a spawner. Right. Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Right. Um, I'm, I need to get rid of your skulk sensor. Who, 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 who. I have got a bow for this. I need a bow. Because right up there is a skulk center next to, what is it? A skulk catalyst, which is next to a shrieker. I need to get over that and break them. Oh, I've not got any wool. Why didn't I not bring wool? I should have brought wool with me. Uh, uh, oh, is this a zombie spawner? <laughs> it is a zombie spawner. Oh, sweet. Oh, even better. <laughs> ah! I was pressing the wrong button. Um, um, the light. Light. Woo, baby. Very invigorating. And as you can tell, my sense of direction is absolutely fantastic. But I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you guys for tuning in and staying with us through to the end. I've been Nevs Gaming. My doggy and you have been amazing. I'm going to say toodaloo and I'll see all you beautiful people in a few. Goodbye.